Blood on the streets, a popular restaurant blown apart. American helicopters rush in to help the wounded and remove the dead in the city of Manbij. The U.S. military confirming on Twitter that U.S. service members were killed. The Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant says they are responsible and that they were targeting the coalition. U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham directly blamed the attack on President Donald Trump's promise to pull U.S. troops out quickly. My concern by the statements made by President Trump is that you had set in motion enthusiasm by the enemy we're fighting. You make people who are trying to help wonder about us. And as they get bolder, the people we're trying to help are going to get more uncertain. I saw this in Iraq, and I'm now seeing it in Syria. He urged the president to reconsider, but that seems unlikely because just after the attack, the vice president made this claim. We are bringing our troops home. The caliphate has crumbled and ISIS has been defeated. One of the leaders who most clearly does not want to see the U.S. president change course, the president of Turkey, who weighed in. IS has claimed their responsibility for the attack, and this may mean to affect the decision that Mr. Trump has taken. But as I know Mr. Trump's determination about this issue, I do not think he will step back against this kind of a terrorist attack. Donald Trump has been criticized by both parties for his decision to withdraw U.S. troops. His secretary of defense quit in protest. Now his claim that ISIL has been defeated will be openly questioned after this attack. But he's still not showing any signs he will reconsider. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.